Do you miss the quick, quick Launch Toolbar in Windows XP? I do. I had 33 programs on my Quick Launch Toolbar in, in XP, and I could get to any one of them in one click, or at least uh, two clicks, if there was one that uh, wasn't visible on the the Quick Launch Toolbar, it was visible in a pop-up at the edge of it. Well, Windows 7 does not ship with Quick Launch enabled. You can simulate it with a pin to the taskbar uh, regime, but those uh, items in the taskbar are pretty big and they spread out quite far nowhere near as compact as it was in the quick launch and so that doesn't work for me you can turn them on with a tutorial in this uh, Windows 7 forums session and that works fine but work, what works even better for me is to build a quick launch toolbar from your desktop. Let me show you how. We are going to build a quick launch toolbar that has shortcuts in it to every program that you use often. If you use a program often that is not, whose shortcut is not already on your desktop, you need to put it there by going down to the Start menu, going to All Programs, finding the program that is not on your Start menu, uh, like this one here, Microsoft Word, Office Word 2003. You right-click on that and then you send a to the desktop creating a shortcut. So now we have all the programs that we want in our quick launch toolbar on the desktop. Next we create a new folder on the desktop. You go to new, you click folder, and you give it a name like quick launch. Type Enter, and there it is. Now you hold down your Control key, and you click each. The, you click the shortcut to each program that you want in your Quick Launch toolbar. And when that is all done, you let go your control key and you right click on one of these shortcuts which drags them all over to this new folder. You let go with your right mouse button and you click copy here. And now if you double click on this quick launch, you will see that it has shortcuts to each one of these programs that was on your desktop which you want in your quick launch toolbar. Now you go to your taskbar at the bottom and in some blank place in that taskbar you right click. You'll see then a, an item called toolbars and one of the choices there is New Toolbar. You click there where it says New Toolbar and a New Toolbar Choose a Folder window comes up. To choose that folder you go to your desktop 
and you look in your desktop for that folder that you just created which is called quick launch you select it which puts it down here and then you click select folder and now you have a quick launch toolbar over here and in there are all the programs that you selected from your desktop to install in that quick launch toolbar on your desktop and now there is a copy of it down here you probably don't want it there you probably want it back where it was in XP let me show you how you show you how do you do that this quick launch toolbar is really three parts down here. There's the title. To the right is the place where you get the pop-up with all the programs you've added to it. And to the left, where you can't quite see, there's some bumpy dots. And if you hover over those bumpy dots, there is this icon that allows you to move this new quick launch toolbar. You are going to grab it with your left mouse key and drag it all the way down to the, st the, the start button that you push. And that puts your quick launch toolbar down here, but it spreads all the things that are in it out to the right of it until you get to the bumpy place for all your taskbar items, all the things that are pinned to your taskbar. When you drag that back over here, it pushes all these individual programs back over there. And when you see just quick launch, you let go. Now, when you click, when you right click on this quick launch, you get a menu which allows you to take the check mark out of show title which gets rid of that thing that said quick launch and then once again if you right click on the bumpy place and you take the show text check mark out you end up with individual icons for each program and it will show you what the program is when you hover over them and now you can once again move things uh, you can you can click on this one to show you the ones that are left over and leave it like that with just these three or you can move it a little bit more or you can move it far enough over so that they all show your choice now if there ever were another program that you wanted to add to that quick launch toolbar you would uh, Go to the All Programs, find it there. Let's say it was Excel 2003. You'd right click on that and you would send to the desktop, creating a shortcut. Then you would go here and drag it over to the Quick Launch. Whoops, excuse me you would select it and then right drag it to this quick launch folder on your desktop copy that there and when you did that you would discover that your quick launch toolbar on the desktop on the uh, taskbar has had Microsoft Office Excel added to it because this is just a copy of whatever is in this folder that you established on the desktop. You don't want to delete this folder up on the desktop. You can move it somewhere where it's uh, not in your way, but you don't want to delete it because if you do, your new quick launch toolbar will uh, disappear. We now have Excel in there. I moved the rest of these things over a little bit. And if things get too spread out, you can raise this up one notch and then push this back 
so that your quick launch toolbar stays down here. That's the way you do it. That's the way I did it. I like it. Try it. I want to acknowledge where I learned about this method. As most of you know, I teach a bunch of mini seminars at the Seniors Computer Group in San Diego, and I had put one up which told about how to get the quick launch toolbar back using the link that I showed in the first part of this tutorial. Then I stumbled across a another YouTube video here. Quick Launch Bar for Windows. This is by Writer Bren, W-R-I-T-E-R-B-R-E-N. And Writer Bren has a lot of videos on YouTube, some of which I found most interesting. At any rate, that's the reason, or the, the source, of this method and I thank writer Bren for that information. You can use this basic method to set up another shortcut on your taskbar. I have one here. If you like me use a number of documents of text over and over again, like uh, a checklist or an email that you send out regularly to prospective customers or uh, something to remind you of something you have learned. It's very easy to do this same, using this same method, to put a, uh, an item on your toolbar called shortcuts which you can then fill up with things that you need to go to regularly and call them up with one click.